for being sus. I sang a song. The DMCA has taken you down. The Twitch bots have broken in. What are you? You guys look adorable. The magic key. Alright, I imagine I'll get it at some point. These, these guys are absolutely adorable. They're also weak. Oh, but then they lower your defense. And then they become a little bit less weak. I wonder, I'm assuming that Veronica can't die. If she, if I can't heal her or anything, I'm guessing she can't die. And it's just, if both of my people die, then it's over. Only slightly racist. It's fun to stay at the D. <laughs> the Metal King slime for grinding purposes. What are you? He undulates in an unnatural manner. Alright, this way's a dead end first. So let's go get this shiny over here. Yoink. You want I to should... talk? That's not like you. I... What do you mean it's not like me? I'm so talkative. These guys are weak, if I remember. It's a crash test dummy, it looks like it. I imagine it'll be a long time before I get to fight this Metal King slime then, if it's giving out that much experience. Alright, I gotta, I gotta test out the crash test dummy. The floating mannequin dude. Alright, I kinda wanna kill the Drac Mage first before he lowers my defense. I meant to. Okay, I guess that works. Easy peasy. Mud mannequin? Yeah, I think that was correct. Alright, uh, map. It does give me a whole map, so that's nice. Um, interesting. So, there's stairs right here. Should I go up these stairs? Or down these stairs? I think I'm gonna check out down here first. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay, this is blocked. What do I need to open this door? Unknown. It's just locked tight. You know what these corridors are making me think of? They make me think of Tales of Zestiria. These dungeons make me think of Tales of Zestiria. They're all wide open. Any dress leaf. What do I do with that? It's not an important item. Oh, bring somebody back to life. That's useful. Probably gonna need that. Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria. Yeah. Two and a few others. Guess a country capital. Just say Airdria. <laughs> forward to a rise. I am still uh, behind on my Tales games. So when I was a kid, I played Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube a lot. I loved Tales of Symphonia. Played it more than once. Okay, there's no faster way to go up these ladders and I need to learn except that. And then I played Vesperia on 360. And then about a year and a half ago, my girlfriend and I played Zestiria together. So I'm still missing quite a few games, and now I am in the current process of playing the very first Tales game. I'm playing Tales of Fantasia, which is very different from the other ones. I don't know how long it'll be before I play the newest one. I know I still have to play Berseria and Zillia. Alright, what are you gonna do? Touch it!
graces. I I don't even I don't know anything about graces. Get my shadow if it wasn't so long. I can't go falling into my own trap now, can I? What would the others say? Right, I'd better go the long way. Oh, PS3. Eleven is probably the best one for newcomers to the franchise. So far it hasn't it hasn't overwhelmed me at all. I've I've felt pretty comfortable with everything that they've given me so far. Okay, so there's a trap on that down that hallway there. Apparently there's a trap here too. And now I'm on the other side of that door. Interesting. Can I unlock the door from this side? What? Oh, okay. Okay. That door is unlocked. Eleven or eight. Okay, for a second, I, these are probably all things that I could fall in. Is that an enemy I can ride? Okay, that is an enemy I can ride. All right, we're gonna challenge him in a moment here. I'll take some gold. Ah, I understand. Bring it on. Seven was a first, which is a strange one since the story is hard to keep track of. That's how it tends to be sometimes. Alright. Smack. Ow. Harold's taking some good damage now. How is Sizz gonna work on you guys? You did alright. Okay, one down. Let me heal Harold. Why do you get to attack twice? Now I gotta heal Eric. There we go. Eleven. I imagine it does. And I'm sure a lot of them are gonna go right over my head. Actually, all of them are gonna go over my head. Because I'm... This is a franchise I know nearly nothing about. <laughs> Alright. Up we go. That's not unnerving at all. Alright, where am I? The trap is in this corridor right here. I think I see a treasure there. Of course. SML? I don't think I know what SML is. That's what you're here for, is to give me the give me the context. I appreciate it. A little extra lore always helps. Alright. Oh god. Well, at least I'm finding all the traps. Oh wait, this isn't the way up. I like my little friend here. This is, this is kind of fun to ride. Alright, how about this way? Okay, this is the way to go. This is the way. Alright. Is this also a trap? I got some gloves. That is a trap. SML is a... Alright. Well, then I guess it's a good thing that they're gone, ain't it? Too bad it's not D&D. Because I do have a thief. God. I do play D&D, though. 
uh, Rat Ratman is one of my players. I'm the DM. He's one of my players. They're uh, they're currently in a dungeon right now, and they are not doing too hot. They only got the first like three rooms of the dungeon. They went into a hallway, and there was a door at the end. And they were all very cautious about the hallway, checking the floor for traps all over the place, and they found nothing. And so then they get to the door, and the first thing they do is they call loudly through the door, alert the person on the other side, who activates a trap on them, and, and it shunts them down a chute and into a, an acid pool. Yeah, no, they don't check for traps. <laughs> Struggling is the best word for it, yes. So then they crawl out of the acid pool, and they walk up a ramp and they find another door. And the first thing they do is, I open the door. And it immediately shunts them into a second... Into a second acid pool. With a sign that says, ha ha. Because they fell for the same trap twice. Ooh, where'd you guys come from? So then after that... They get to... Uh, another door. And they're like, oh, we're going to be smarter this time. We're not going to... We're not going to open the door. We're going to knock on the door. And immediately alert like a dozen enemies that were just standing on the other side of the door. <laughs> Investing into Guile with Eric is very helpful. Should not have gone into Kevin McAllister's dungeon. God. And the thing is, the dungeon I made for them is meant to be easy for them. It's meant, not meant to be easy. It's meant to start easy and then get harder. So you're saying Guile. Let me look at what he's got in Knives. I wanted Purse Cutter really badly though, so I'm going to, take, I'm going to get Purse Cutter because that seems awesome. And then Harold, I think you need eight to get your next luminary skill, don't you? Yeah, alright. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away. Oh yeah, I got I got the home alone reference. Wait, over there. Divide is OP, I don't know what divide is. Is that the sister? Wake up! It's me, Veronica. Yeah, those are the cannon fodder. Mm -hmm. That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! <laughs> Was she just napping? She was actually quite literally just napping. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? Who... But... How did you know it was me? Shoot some guns. Been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I, I thought you were, well, that you were, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my age. Weird. 
What I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. That sounds very helpful. Sounds good to me. Then I don't have to use Harold as the healer anymore. Oh, fully healed and saving. This is a nice statue. I like this statue. This would be a decent place to grind some levels. I might have to take some time to kill things, because then I can just come back here and heal over and over again, right? Oh, okay, she. You recommend level 12 or 13? Yeah, I'll go with that. Start killing. Especially because I got four people here fighting with me. So these guys are going to be 12 when they join me. Okay. Fair enough. If I dismount, then I can start ambushing, right? Let's do this. Uh, oh, there's only one enemy here, isn't there? Easy. Oh, it's now gone. Okay. Uh, I need to get my next luminary skill. So what do I want? Zap or poof? I think I want zap. I see you! Zap! Okay. If you get to level 99, do you get enough skill points to fill everything? Too. Okay, so that's where I just came from. This is a trap. I know that's a trap. Let's try this out. Zap. Ooh, that does a good amount of damage. Cool. So you use a couple of seeds of skills to get to the last few. Okay.
Nice. Scorched Earth is a pretty good spell. And don't come back. Let's do this. All right, let's attack the drone. Oh, he's still alive. Let's do Sizz on the mannequins. Yeah, you miss. Right. Wow, they keep missing me. There we go. Luminary skills get upgraded and reset. So do I, do I just lose all the progress I put in luminary skills then? Or do I get the do I get the skill points that I put in them back? I'm fine with Veronica taking the hits. I get the points back. Alright, well that should be fine then. If I get the points back, then I can just throw them where I want them to be. the drag mage, shouldn't I? I appreciate the healing. I really do. Nice. Luminary tree's not that helpful. I'll take a look. I still haven't decided whether I, which um whether I want to do great swords or regular swords. Spawn. Great swords hit hard. Swords are better late game. I guess we'll find out. It would be nice if Veronica used her weak attacks. That he does a weird dance. Interesting. Here. 
Oh, cool. They're so helpful. They'll be less helpful once they're on my team and they can only use items when they're my items. <laughs> I meant to attack him, but sure, why not? A weird dance! It's okay, I don't really use... That was only two anyway. I don't really use NP with Eric at the moment. Beautiful men. They kind of look like Rick from Rick and Morty, if I'm not gonna lie. They got the hair color and the the, the robe color. And they got the drool coming out their mouth, too. There's definitely a, a resemblance here. Nice job, Veronica. I'm proud of you. Wonderful. Am I gonna level up yet? Come on. Just wanna get to 12. Who are you? There's definitely a resemblance. I'm glad somebody agrees. the trap. Good job, me. I still haven't watched- I think I'm behind like a season or two on Rick and Morty at this point. A Calamitous Curse. So what happens if Eric is cursed? I know that the statue can cure my curse. Wow, Veronica's just taking hits. I'm gonna check and see if scores are good or not. You do that, my dude. Report your results to me. I'll keep whacking on zombie Rick and Morty. And now I'm poisoned. Harold's just getting destroyed right now. Thank goodness. Items. I have eight of these, so I may as well use one. kill things down here while I level up. Just prevents you from moving sometimes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm behind by a season or two on Rick and Morty. Nope, that didn't work. Oh yeah, that would be the curse. Still immobile. That's annoying. Veronica's been whacking away at that guy for a while. Oh, now I can do something. There we go. Cool. Thank 
<laughs> no 400 IQ for me. You're right. My brains are only useful for video games and country capitals. Nothing else. That's his back, huh? I was trying to pick up the shiny. Okay, got it. Alright, let's go get this curse off of Harold. And then we'll finish leveling up to 12. <laughs> I think Abby is enjoying her new anime. She's laughing quietly into her pillow. <laughs> God. Alright, uh... Benediction. Sure. I'm paying the statue. <laughs> For Lumetri, the only thing of note right now is the pep up, which is a lock skill that instantly puts you in a state of pep. Lock skill meaning you can only use it when four things around it. I see. Alright, let's finish leveling up. Serena's just getting bullied all of a sudden. Cool. Nice. But Eric's at 12 now. But we only got two. Alright, so that means Harold's not far behind. Wow, nice miss, nerd. Zap. Oh, that works. Thank goodness. Cutting edge. Interesting. Smack. 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 There you go. I like the different death animations. Who else it's not always so? the same. There we go. We're level 12 now. I think we're free to go now. Let's save. Attributes. I thought it was in divination here. Oh, it's also here too. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, 